family. So I would like you to tell the story to all my friends and family about life from when you were born to now. How has it changed? And what do you think needs to be done to make life better? This is Del Boy. He's 91. He was born in 1928 and he is the oldest part of our family. We love you, Del Boy. Is there anything you can tell us about life and how it's changed and what needs to be done to make it good again? Okay, and what's the, what's the book called? Can, can, how can we get a copy? Well, I've got to, I'm nearly finished, but I've got to get, Dave's going to read it and I'll get Tina to... Pass it on. To get it printed out. Lovely. So Del Boy's written a book. And, and what's it about? About life, the book? Yeah. Can you give us a little taste of it? What, a little... Yeah, I don't know. I was born, born 1928 and I can remember like laying on my mum's lap and changing me nappy and, and my, my sister saying she wanted a, a sister and, and she took me down the shop and, and tried to get rid of me. <laughs> Sounds like my life. <laughs> and then we, I can, my dad wanted me to be a boxer because we went to my aunt Nell's, which was in Sun Sun Sunbury on Thames, and my cousin dug a bloody great hole in the back garden, and, and, my, and, and his brother Dennis. He fell off his bike and he was a, he was a bit backward. Like he said, hello, Art Lot. We, who come to dinner? We got Dean Deans. Did it make him feel more normal after he fell off the bike? Did he feel normal then? No. <laughs> Dean Deans, hello. And you are talking to the legendary Del Boy and he is Peter's dad. And he is the oldest slugget in our family. And as you can see, there's beautiful people all around. Look. Beautiful people. We went to my aunt Nell's, and, the, and, and, and Eric was a conscientious objector because he knew something about the atom bomb. Right. So they went down, down the garden. And there was this hole, it, it was over 20 foot deep. Yeah, no, that's. Yeah. Wow. Timbers across. And you know, you, you, you got an imitation well. Yeah. He had that on the top, and, and Dennis was winding the bucket up. Class. Peter. And then. Aunt Nell, Aunt Nell said, "Come in. It's too, it's too dangerous. Leave them alone." Yeah. Coming, coming out with us. I said, "I'm oh, coming out. You do the cooking." <laughs> well, well, go and get the onions. Yep. In the lean-to. You are hearing all about Del Boy's book. This is part one. Part two's coming.